Our first stop this morning is the Church of St. George. It's one of the only still active churches in the Coptic Cairo area. Mm -hmm. Down the stairs there is the St. George's Shrine and then up the stairs right behind us is where the nuns live. Our next stop in Coptic Cairo is the Abu Surga Church. It's not only believed to be the oldest church in Egypt, but is also the spot where the Holy Family apparently rested towards the end of their journey to Egypt. Standing behind me is the Ben Ezra Synagogue. It was originally one of the Coptic churches, but was later converted into a synagogue when it was purchased by Abraham Ben Ezra. So unfortunately we couldn't take any pictures or videos inside the synagogue, but the synagogue is actually no longer used and it's just a museum. This is because there's actually very few Jews in Egypt. It's actually 90% Muslim and 10% Christians. St. Barbara is another extremely old church in Coptic Cairo. Although it's been rebuilt and restored several times, some of the original artifacts date back to the 4th and even 5th century. We are at our last stop in Coptic Cairo. We're at the Coptic Museum. This is known to be the best place in Egypt to learn about all of Coptic history. Mm -hmm. There's over 1,600 pieces in here dating back to the 3rd and 4th century AD. Yeah, super cool. Um, you do have to pay with credit card or you can book in advance on your phone, um, but they don't accept cash. It is 230 Egyptian pounds each to get in, so not too bad. Yep, we only have half an hour, so we're gonna get to it. Yeah. <laughs> 